So a problem that we've been seeing recently is trainers are having a hard time bringing more kids into their youth programs. And something that we've been working specifically hard on this past year is teaching our training centers how to build a more robust and successful youth program. Because with our original location, we had 40 to 45% of our gross monthly income coming specifically from our youth. We had nearly 100 athletes consistently training with us during their off seasons. And that volume has continued inside of our training centers. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is we've set our, our business model for our training centers up in a way that promotes growth specifically for the youth side. Most trainers understand when I'm teaching movement, right? If we think about something like the squat, most trainers understand, okay, I need to think about and teach where my feet go first. And then I need to teach and think about bracing and keeping a, a straight spine. And there's steps and there's processes for, for growth and continued, continued movement. The problem is, is that most trainers don't think about that when it comes to business and they need a little bit of help and where to start. We have 20 plus years of experience of that. And so we're starting to roll that out now to our training centers and we're seeing massive growth because of it. We're calling it our plug and play system. And we need to first understand that youth programs and adult programs are vastly different. And so we're centering everything around how to specifically grow the kids side of things, the kids programs. When we talk to trainers, most trainers have a list of goals um, that they want to accomplish. And it's usually this list right here, or one of these things on this list. Uh, their goals would be something like, I want to produce kids that lead active and healthy lives. That's a great goal. I need X number of kids in my class. Uh, I want to work with sports teams, kids that are specifically athletes. Uh, I want to educate parents so that more kids are, are positively impacted. All of these are good goals. But there's a step that comes before it, right? Just like that step inside of the squat. If I just start by teaching the knee bend and the hinge, I've missed some things. And the squat probably isn't gonna go as well as it could have if I put my feet in the right place and taught how to brace, right? So we need to think about business goals first. So the business goals we've set up, we need to build a sustainable program first, right? How many kids until this program can kind of run itself, it's sustainable. Significant revenue. How many kids is it gonna be uh, inside of this program where I'm seeing significant revenue. How much time per week is that going to take? How many trainers do I need? How, what's the compensation going to look like for those trainers in order for the gym to receive significant revenue? And then community awareness, right? How can I get outside of the four walls of the gym? How can I reach those, uh, those sports teams that we talked about? How can I reach uh, schools, things of that nature, so that we can grow the program significantly? If we focus on our business goals first, and then we model the program goals around those things, we're gonna see faster and greater growth. And this is just a snippet of what's inside of those plug and play systems that I talked about. It's business model alongside education so that you guys can build more robust and successful youth programs. So if you're having trouble getting kids inside of your gym, we wanna to talk to you because we can help. So let's book a call.